Hi again, Mark with Mark's Minerals. Today I'm working with some Nova Points. These are some various bits that I'll be using. Um, they're fantastic for tight little spaces, uh, little nooks and crannies that you just can't get at with anything else to get in there. Um, here's a variety. This is 600, this is 60, 3,000, 50,000, 14,000, uh, 200 and 60 or 240 grit and then 1500 so these are the ones that I really enjoy using uh, I've got a wide variety I like to start with the coarsest even if you're only using it for a little while with the smaller stone you want to go over the entire stone uh, and this is this is the coarse one um, you can see the little diamonds and, and metal embedded in that it's impregnated all the way through so you get a nice clean even cut the whole way through your stone so I'm just kinda roughing it out um, always use these wet don't let them run dry I use especially in the core stages I use a little bit of mineral oil because they get better adhesion to the stone um, and it, it's less likely to run dry it's gonna get a little bit loud so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to follow along the contours and make sure that I'm I'm following that all these lines that I created when I was cutting and grinding and I want to eliminate any scratches or divots or um, voids that I might have created as I was going so I'm going to start here and I'm going to kind of work my way down I want to make sure that I'm paying attention to the stone make sure I'm getting back to where it is and I'm I'm not necessarily done shaping the stone I want to make sure that I've defined the top that all the colors are true before I go trimming off any parts I was thinking I don't know I might trim this off um, let's see if we can get this focused better here we go part of me was thinking of trimming this off making this one stone or making this a separate stone because it's got these little crags and crevices so I'm, if I can bring out really good solid color then I'll trim off less but if I can't then um, it's just not worth it anyhow that being said here we go um, You don't want to add too much pressure. You want to use enough pressure that it's consistent. It's about the weight of the, the tool. And you don't want to let it run dry. If it starts getting dry, add another drop of mineral oil. Or if you're using water, make sure you're using plenty of water. And one thing I'm, I want to... Uh, One thing I want to I kind of want to get at is when you're working along, don't go on to the next bit or the next piece until you're done with what you're working. So be consistent. Get a nice even coverage as best as you can. It's almost like mapping the stone. If you forget one. You'll come back to it, make a few different passes in different directions. So anyhow, as you're going, as soon as I'm completely done with this course a bit, I'll move on to the next one. And about midway, by the time I'm to uh, 1500 or the gray bit, I'll do my final trim, cutting of the stone, getting rid of the excess. And then I can come back smooth out whatever edges I might have roughed up 
back to that again. And usually after 1500 grit, you can start to polish. Um, pardon me. Uh, I'll usually take it up to um, 14,000, except, let's see if I can demonstrate. This one's got a divot. It's got a lot of divots that I wouldn't be able to get at with anything else. So that, in the divot, instead of being able to polish it, I'm just going to have to continue working with the Nova Point and then clearing those out and polishing them as best as I can. So those I'll polish to 15,000. It'll be a, a mere finish, a glassy polish. So Nova Points by Diamond Pacific, fantastic, highly recommended. Thanks for watching Mark's Minerals videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, I hope you have a fantastic evening. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and send me a message. Thanks again. Have a great night.